Hey, my legion, how y'all doing today? I want to continue another season, another season, another uh, entry in us. Something I did a long time ago when I first started my channel called Most Underappreciated Movies in the History of the World or Most Underappreciated Movies. And I want to do at least 100 movies, mention 100 movies. I'm on 97 right now. Now, a lot of, I do a lot of other reviews, and a lot of those don't get the uh, respect they deserve either. So you could put them in there too. But I'm going to do this. Number 97. Uh, a movie. They changed the title of it. But it was originally called Alien Contamination. For 1981. I remember seeing it originally on Elvira. And I saw it. <coughs> I saw it uncut. Uh, the Italian uncut version. Under the new title. On uh, Time Warner Table. <coughs> sorry. to say Time Warner Cables On Demand. Thing up. Uh, it was uh, 402 Entertainment on Demand. It's from, from the, Del the El Rey Network, which I got to find out what channel that is, because it's showing really cool, like old grindhouse movies and stuff like that. And they showed the Italian classic, and it's just known as Contamination now. Well, anyways, <clears throat> I remember when I saw it on Elvira, I loved it, and it was the first thing that really got me indoctrinated into the Italian splatter film, you know. And what it once about it was originally released by Canon, and like I said, a lot of times it was just called Alien Contamination. I remember renting it in Germany on uh, from Paragon Home Video. They released some other cool Italian films like uh, oh, they released uh, The Gates of Hell, if you remember that, and also they released the Canadian film Funeral Home. And what was cool about this one is uh, when then. Later on, like I said, a Blue Underground released on the original Italian title, Contamination, because they're changing, like, a lot of these uh, things like Toxic, you know, Media Blasters and uh, Shriek Show through Media Blasters are showing the original ones on the original Italian name. It was Contamination, but I guess for U.S. they called it Alien Contamination because they consider it like a, like a spinoff of the Alien movie or rip -off, Alien movie ripoff. That's what some critics said, but it's much better than that. Just like they considered Creature an alien ripoff, but that was a good show too with Klaus Kinski. Well, anyways, this concerns it's a it's a science fiction more of a science fiction splatter film than a horror splatter film. It involves this this big giant cargo ship coming into New York, New York Harbor. It's completely vacated, a ghost ship, and they have these investigators come in. They find out that all the uh, crew members are dead. They look like they've been uh, eviscerated. And they find like these weird eggs. Some are dormant, some are active. And when they're active, they're pulsating and glowing and they make sounds. And uh, whenever they're, some are, there were some that were under a heat pipe. And uh, when they expose the heat, they start to ripen and become uh, dangerous. And when they explode, they have this acid on them that causes you to explode from the inside. So there's lots of scenes of guys exploding. And the effects for that are really cool. And uh, and they also notice that there's all these crates from some called Universe X. Where the X is X in there. And they find out that there's uh, that they were trying to uh, put these eggs in uh, the sewer systems of Manhattan to try to kill everybody in New York. And upon further investigation this group of, uh, this one astronaut that went to Mars, they find out there's just something more deadly and they go investigate in South America. I don't want to give away too much more, but it's really a cool movie. I loved it. Ian McCulloch's in it, and uh, it's a fantastic movie. And Fangoria says it's an Italian gem. And you might not have heard about it, but it's a great movie. Like I said, I think it gets just set aside. They say it's an alien ripoff, but it's not. But I really enjoyed it. I give it a 10 out of 10. I remember, like I said, I first saw it on Elvira. And I was really impressed by it. And I'm here. I got a little bit of uh, Swiss Dad sweet tea. At that. I just had dinner. I'm more likely I'll upload this video. And then um, I'll upload my dinner video for today. is Sunday. My niece's birthday. So I just wanted to... Uh, Tell you, if you get a chance to see Contamination on the L Ray Network, give it a shot. It's a great movie. It's really cool. Like I said, I don't get, want to give away any spoilers or something like that, but it's really neat. 
So, until next time, bye. Please take care of my legion. Yeah, and uh, like I said, this is number 97 most underappreciated movies. All right. Take care.